Ah, frustrating. Thousand and One Spikes is a tough game that will lead to many frustrating moments, but this doesn't mean that it's a bad game. No, no, it means that it's Dark Souls hard. In the game you have a small jump button and a big jump button and you can throw knives to counter projectiles or kill small creatures with the knives. And the level designs are tough. You will need a lot of trial and error to progress in the game. And to make it even more hardcore, you get only 1001 lives in the game, total. After that, it's game over. And 1001 sounds like a lot, but when you see how much you die in the game, you realize that 1001 isn't that much. And even if you can boost your lives, it's a big grind in the game. You need to complete bonus levels, get coins, and buy new lives. It's a chore, it isn't as easy as it sounds. The levels get progressively harder and have hidden traps, levels don't have battles, spikes can appear out of nowhere, you'll be able to pass a level only with muscle memory after a lot of trial and error. The controls are spot on, they feel super precise, the music is great, graphics too, you get a ton of levels and even ad hoc multiplayer modes. So if you want a super hard retro game that is frustrating but some say is rewarding too, play this game, you're going to like it. But if you don't want frustration, don't play it. Frustration is inevitable in this title.